Hello and how's it going guys? My name is Scotty and today we are playing Call of Duty Finest Hour. This is a thing I'm going to be doing called the BBC. Bringing back classics. So, we're going to go ahead and jump right into the game. I have not And... Europe, 1940. Hitler's ruthless quest to extend I grew up playing these games. People at war with the world. And the it feels good to come back and France actually play them. No deterrent, as the Nazis invade their European neighbors to the north and west, while extending their reach eastward towards Russia's critical oil fields. By fall, Germany's lightning war to soften England is launched, and America increases production, racing to aid the British. By 1941, the battle for North Africa is on as Rommel's Africa Corps arrives in Tripoli. On the Eastern Front, an impatient Hitler breaks his pact with the Soviets. Stalin responds with a scorched earth policy, intent on leaving only ruins for the Nazi invaders. But one by one, his cities fall. Now, in 1942, massive German air raids commence against Stalingrad, and the battle for this noble city turns vicious. The Red Army refuses to retreat and a counteroffensive is launched against a force that now stretches from the Volga to the Atlantic and deep into the African desert. Against impossible odds, millions come forward to answer the call of their countries, their families, their lives. I know the, the name of the mustache man is probably going to be mentioned quite a bit in this game, so hopefully uh, I don't get my video taken down or... My name is Alexander Any sorts Sokolov. of copyright from the music and stuff like that. As a watchmaker's apprentice, I would learn the business, then open a shop of my own. Maybe get married, have children, start a life. But now our cities are under attack, and Stalingrad will put an end to those dreams. We should have known the Germans would turn on us, break the treaty. They have no honor. The commissars rounded us up so quickly, speaking of the motherland, the sacrifice of our brothers, our duty. I'm only 20, but I'm ready to fight to the death. The sight of my home, Stalingrad, infuriates me. It is as if hell itself were burning. Huh. Welcome to Stalingrad. You're about to begin the greatest moment of your life. The Germans have lost hundreds of tanks and planes. Hitler's brutalized hordes are now advancing towards Stalingrad over mountains of their own dead bodies. Our Bolshevik party, our nation, our great country have given us the task not to let the enemy reach the Volga and to defend the city of Stalingrad. Forward! Against the enemy, up into the unremitting battle, comrades, for Stalingrad, for our country, not one step back. Cowards and traitors will be shot. Do not count days, do not count miles, count only the number of Germans you have killed. Kill the German, this is your mother's prayer. Kill the German, this is the cry of the Russian earth. Do not waver. Do not let up! Kill! Death to the German invader! Oh, he gets a fucking you clip. Over here! <laughs> Alright, comrades, you're with me. Pay attention and follow my orders, or I will shoot you myself. Come quickly! We're expected at the front lines. The fascists have reached the park and are about to cut Stalin at the wall. Damn. Explosion will not be far off. 
Oh fuck. Uh oh, shit, that thing is gonna roll me. Oh fuck. <laughs> oh no. That thing was buried to fucking roll my ass. Holy shit! It didn't even blow up. And he went long. He just went flying. Let's go. Where? Oh. The machine guns have started again. Go quickly. The machine guns have started again. I just like how scripted they are to die. We need to flush them out before we get to the park. Follow my lead. Uh, I probably don't even need that one. You, over here. Pick up his rifle. Yeah, hell yeah. Damn it. Fucking hard though. Hell yeah. Explosive! Stand back! This way, comrades! Dude, you were like right next to that shit. How the fuck did you not take damage? Alright, 
close quarters, so I need the MP40. You're still alive, comrade. I'm impressed. Follow me. Let's go. Give me the ammo. Let's go. Oh wait, never mind. I, I think I'm full. <laughs> Hell yeah. Mami Korgin is just ahead, but first we need to flush the Germans out of this building. Give us the signal to go. All right, go. Open the door. I'll cover you. Damn it. Oh no. We got first car, I think it's I don't wanna say that. Oh, the classic Tanya. I'm sorry you lost your sergeant, We won't let you sacrifice go to waste. I've got a new job for you. The fascists are using the view from that bunker to call in artillery strikes all over the city. We can't take back Stalingrad unless we control that bunker. You lead the men after you. Start by taking out the machine guns in those peel boxes. Stick to the trenches. I'll keep you covered from here. That Nazi flag must fall. I hope I'm not getting any I wonder if there's a way I can turn down the music a little bit. Shit.
why you over here, you little shit. There you are. Oh, we got two little shits. Three. Even better. By the fucking gunner. How the fuck can you? Oh, okay. I don't know. I'm not even going to question it. There was a, probably somehow my head was peeking that bitch, and I have to redo all of that. Hell yeah. There we go. That's how we do it, man. Looks like I found myself a new spot. My name is Tanya Pavlovna. We had little idea the Nazi invasion had pushed as far as our village until the night we awoke to the sound of tank tracks grinding in the distance. Tank shells sent my neighbors scurrying for cover. And in the chaos, I was separated from my parents. The next day I was rescued by soldiers with the Red Army. I was 25. During my first skirmish, our squad was cut down, and I escaped into a collapsed building, where I took a sniper rifle off the body of a fallen comrade. My father's voice guided my aim as I cut down my first four Germans with that rifle. My skill was reported to HQ, and I was assigned as a sniper and sent to Stalingrad. I've been hunting Germans ever since. They took my family and my home. And I intend to take their lives. This is the moment we go You've got a clear shot. What are you waiting for? An explosion. We need something to cover the sound of the rifle. Ah. And if I shoot enough of these Germans, they'll send a tank to come looking for us. Then we'll need to cover our sapper on the street so he can place a landmine in its path. This is it. Always try to shoot the officers first. Let's relocate. Here's a good vent. He was just right there.
Fuck. I ran out of ammo. Where's the, where you at, little shit? There you are. Oh, fuck. The sapper! He's making his move in front of the tank! are advancing on our tank depot at the old tractor factory. Come with me. Like anything else around here I can use? No. Okay. It'd be nice to have some kind of uh, secondary weapon. God, how the fuck do you do? I sprint. I don't think I can. Can I? Move, bitch. Start the shallow breath. You'll get used to the smell. You guys got down here for me. Just, oh, two meds. Alright, that's it. Stay close. To survive, we must work quick. Shit. Run up on me, bitch. I'll take that MP4 you guys. What the fuck you doing? Alright. God, I can hear the fuck oh, this. Hold on, I don't prefer the music. Thank you. Saved my life. Wait a minute. Pull up. Can't run from me, bitch! <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Come on, fuckers. Oh, 
Oh, I didn't think I'd hit that one. That was uh, that was awesome. What? Anything down this way? There's a small tunnel ahead. You'll have to go. Alright, I'm gonna see what's down here. Oh, he landed. I didn't realize he was prone and thought he was dead. Okay, it's just a. It's like a broken ladder. Alright. Damn, feels really good playing this game again. Even though this is probably a shit game. But uh, this was my childhood. Wait, can I hit can I do It's a tight squeeze, but I think we can all make it. I'm gonna throw a fucking suck on my nade, bitch. <laughs> the place to the factory should be around here somewhere. Oh. Friendlies. I think I'm gonna have to fucking pick this one off. Ooh, shit. How about we don't do that? What the fuck? I <laughs> just like outlined his body with the goddamn fucking. Oh my god. Tractor factory is just ahead. Incoming mortars, keep your head down. Oh.
fuck, fuck, fuck. You know what? Do now, you little shit. I don't know where to put the fucking gun. Oh fuck! I realized he was. I don't think I'm gonna be able to get that dude. I'll try to save all the ammunition I can for the uh What if I toss a grenade I could probably hit him? Headshot.
There's gotta be a way I can take out that gun. Oh, I didn't think I'd fucking hit that. Oh my god. going to the left now. Oh fuck, I missed that one. Fucking, how many of these do they have? Oh, watch this. No scope, no scope, no scope. Ah, damn. I want no scope on these bitches. Probably shouldn't waste all the ammo. I probably need it. I'm gonna try and see if I can. Oh, I got him. No scope. <laughs> now, if I shoot them, I don't think they have a place to put their uh, machine gun.
<laughs> Makes your gun useless, doesn't it? <laughs> oh boy. Oh, I only got like eight bullets left. Oh shit. I'll take that. I need a heal. Is there any ammo? Is there any ammo? Shit. At least the accuracy of these guns are accurate. Because, <laughs> oh my god. Aiming directly on their backs, I'm not even fucking hitting one shot. There's no way I can hit that gun. I didn't make a shit like that. Alright, hell yeah. Fuck this shit. It's just an empty mounted gun. It's just a mounted gun. <laughs> Nobody controlling it. Get on the tank. We are moving out. All right. Hold on a second. Just collecting shit. Damn, I'm out of fucking sniper ammo. My name is Nikolai Badanov. The day after the Germans attacked the Soviet Union, I left my wife and newborn son in the care of my parents and joined the Red Army. All right, you know what? Having been a mechanic in Leningrad for years, it was no surprise I was assigned to the 24th Tank Corps. I live for the day we grind Berlin beneath our tracks. Perhaps it's this aggressiveness that won me my own tank crew and assignment in Stalingrad. While my crew and I are like family, there's another comrade who I'll be tied to forever. Her name is Tanya Pavlovna, and she saved our skins as we escaped in the last surviving T-34 after an assault on an old factory near Volgograd. But our tank soon had engine trouble, and the smoke plume was giving away our position. So we found what looked to be a safe place to make repairs. Hmm. I think I can make it through this. A 
engine trouble? Danya, you and Alexander find some high ground and watch for the enemy. We'll do what we can, Nikolai. And Fyodor, let's get that tank fixed now. Yes, sir. even aiming at. Shit, I just like how my frame keeps dropping.
fucking shit. Fuck, why am I looking down? Or look it up. Down, you fucking uh, idiot. Lieutenant, follow me. Watch, sorry. General Pero, sir. Thank Commander Lieutenant Nikolai Bedano to see you. Lieutenant, the situation is grave. We've been holding back the German advance with the Katyusha rockets. However, our forward observer's radio has stopped working, and we are no longer receiving firing coordinates. Their last report said the fascists were massing armor and preparing to overrun this headquarters. The observers are in the train station tower on the other side of Red Square. Take a replacement radio and get it over to that tower before the Germans make their next move. Dismissed. All right. Wounded soldier coming. Good. Set it down here. Hey, Lieutenant, look who we found. I can't destroy me. Better get your life. You better draw, Lieutenant. You take care of her. Good luck, Lieutenant.
shot. I think I just launched one of my fucking menders. Damn moon. Observers are in the tower, but this place is crawling with Germans. We'll have to fight our way through, room by room. On your signal. Bitch! Fuck. Where the fuck you come from? Oh, I didn't realize there's a hole right here. Observation post on the other side. Good luck. Little bitch. Oh. Is about to move. 
We need to relay firing coordinates now. New target, Five Point Bravo. Angle 78 degrees, range 100 meters. Confirm, over. Confirm. Column is a junkyard now. Thank you, Lieutenant. This has been one hell of a day. December 24, 1942, Christmas Eve. What we began at Stalingrad, we were to finish as part of Operation Little Saturn on a remote airfield near the small village of Tatsinskaya. Our assignment was to approach the airfield from the north via the River Don cutting off and encircling the stranded German forces Hitler had forbidden to retreat. There at Tatsinskaya, we would surprise the airfield, destroying as many aircraft as we could, cutting off the resupplying of Nazis in the Stalingrad pocket. This was an assignment I was going to enjoy. But as we were about to spring our attack, the Germans got word we were there and launched a frantic evacuation. We may have missed yelling surprise, but there was still plenty of party to be had. So, <clears throat> I think we're out of Stalingrad now. ...to prevent them from resupplying the 6th Army at Stalingrad. This is a critical mission, comrades. Best of luck! Raven, this is platoon leader. What is your status, over? Platoon leader, Raven here. Our trucks are in position. We need ten minutes to set up the rockets. Over. Hold positions until... Stuka! Stuka! Incoming! You know what? We have been spotted! Raven, we cannot wait! Get your rockets in position now! We will take care of those bombers! All right, just because uh, this video has been going on for a hot minute, I'm probably going to end it here. But I do appreciate you guys so much for watching. And if you do like the video, just leave a like, comment, and subscribe if you wish. And I will see you guys in the next one. Peace out.